everybody, my name is Zella Prince, welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, we're going to be reacting to what really happened to Site-13. It's another an animation by the SCP Animated, Tales of the Foundation. Uh, I don't, I have not seen this one as far as I remember, but I'm going to go ahead and click play on this bad boy, because I have no idea what to really expect because of the thumbnail. I just hit play, I'm not even going to do a number countdown. There we go. Say 13, Big Ben Ranch Start, State Park. God. Texas. Command, do you read me? Hello? We read you, team lead. We've lost Noah. He's, uh, in the wall. This thing just came through. Looked kind of like a man, but with some spatial anomalies surrounding it. It warped the building as it passed by, and Noah got too close. We have no way of knowing what else is in here. Everything we've seen so Thanks. far has been impossible to predict. I don't even know if we can get back if we wanted to. None of the other teams have, have they? That is correct. Honestly, whatever happens down here can't be any worse than whatever we'd see on our way back. It probably doesn't make a difference. Affirmative. Team lead, we are preparing another unit to evac you in the event that you reach the survivors. Insertion time is in four hours. But remember, you'll be experiencing time differently down there. You're sending another task force in here? What idiots volunteered for that gig? Samsara. Oh. Well, if anyone can handle this, it's them. Hmm. I don't know much about Site 13. I, I, you know, you would think I would know a lot about Site 13 at this point. But Hang I don't. On, is that? Oh my god. It is. What is it? It's Bobble the Clown. Bobble the Clown. What? What do you want? Jesus. My name is Carter Ross. I'm an agent with the... Actually, hang on. Who are you? Mm. <laughs> You're different. You smell different. You know I can smell you, even from here. But you're not like them. They went to Great Lakes to figure that out. <laughs> they do. They know. They will know. You're Bobble the Clown, yeah? They had a number for me once, when I was Bobble. But your friends didn't like the number. They said we identified with the numbers. <laughs> I am not Bobble, but I am a thing that used to be Bobble. You're not what you're supposed to be, gun buddy. Hmm. You don't match the air in here. You're out of place. Just like I am. Just like we are. Uh -huh. What happened here? Daddy Emerson played a tricky little game with the strings of the universe. He walked on them like a tightrope, and he was surprised when he fell. <laughs> tricky little Emerson didn't just want boxes, no, no, no. He wanted boxes full of ideas. Ideas like pain, horror, and death. He worked very hard to stack those boxes on his string and broke the whole thing. And we all came tumbling I'm so down confused. on him. What is he talking about? <laughs> How many other entities are in here? What else do you know? How many? <laughs> How many entities were swallowed by Site 13? <laughs> if the Foundation could find it and the Coalition could catch it, it was faded to the beat grinder down here. <laughs> Everything! They munched us all, even if there was nothing to gain. Soap got lucky, stuffed in a funny box and played with, toyed with, experimented with, to see what sounds we made when we wanted to die. <laughs> Bobble got lucky, others were not so lucky. Chief, I'm picking something up in the radio. I think it's the survivor signal. We must be getting close. All right, let's keep moving. Have fun, boys! <laughs> Don't let the dead bugs bite. Oh, and if you see Daddy Emerson, choke him to death for me! <laughs> Christ, man. Well, Dad, if you're watching this video, don't get nightmares, because he does not like clowns. Command. Command. <laughs> Do you read me? 
Houston, we read you. Are you all right? Oh, thank God. We've been trying to reach you forever. Yeah, we found the survivors. We're looking at 10, maybe 15 people. We found some other agents of ours, too. A few mole rats and a guy from the Travelers. They all ended up down here. Are you prepared to evac? Uh, yeah, so that's not going to happen the way I think we want it to. Not currently. It's a whole lot worse here than we anticipated, Command. I don't know how they ever locked some of this stuff up, but nearly every single containment cell is broken open. We keep hearing things down the hallways nearby. I think whatever is out there is looking for us. If they find us, we don't have the bullets to keep them down, let alone get these people out. Where's Ross? He's been trying to get some defense ready with the others. In case something comes for us tonight. It's not looking good. I don't know if you guys have a backup plan, but we'll take any ideas. How long have you been down there? Uh, maybe three days. Affirmative. Apollo 3 team, be advised that we are activating and inserting Tau 5 for rescue and recovery. Thank God. Tell them to hurry. Walls are seeping something. Some sort of insect? Huh. A leech. What does that mean? Nothing good. There's something below us. It's huge. Covered in other people's blood, reaching up towards us. These are like fingers. They all communicate back to the host. The... Bring me a leech. What? You're kidding. No, bring me one. They're telepathic. They're communicating that way. I need a leech. Disgusting. Hmm. Peculiar. Here. There. Let's see. They heard the incinerator activate. They're... They're hungry. They're coming up here to eat. A lot of them. The host is down below, but I can't see that far down. If I look at the neutral activity of the entire network of entities, I can map out the areas they're in. Let me see if I can do something with that. There we go. You should have it on your retinas. Clever, but it seems too distorted to be a map. Ongoing topographical changes. It means that despite the changes in the structure of the site, it's all still located within our local reality. It's just unstable. Do we know where this Thresher device is? Probably something to do with this section here. If you follow a logical structural design plan based on the evidence provided in this map, there should be a whole extra wing here. But there aren't any of the leeches down that way. Yes, I can see a conduit running to that area. That's where the Thresher machine is. The survivors are in there. Which is the fastest path? The last one is the fastest. All right, that's the one we'll take then. A shame. Here I thought we'd be shooting leeches. You'll have plenty of chances to on our way out, I'm sure. We need to get these people out quickly. Does it feel to you like the leeches are trying to get into the wing where the survivors are? Yes. There is plenty of blood in this site, but not all of it is still warm. They'll be coming for them soon. Mm. 14 hours later. What the hell is that? The party's arrived, everyone! Run! Ah! Oh, there goes somebody. The leeches, I'm thinking. I'm having difficulty. I...
You civilians need to get to the far end of this room. As far as it goes, just keep running. Arantu, go with them, and fire at anything that comes out of that wall. Onru, you stay with me. This is going to get pretty messy. Team Lee, this is Site Command. Do you read us? Yes, I do. It's really bad in here right now, Command. We're going to need all the help we can get. Copy. We're marking the extraction point on your visor. Where are Ross and Anru? They should have been behind us. There's no time to worry about that. Just keep running. Oh, what's happening to the building? It just disappeared. Oh, that's Thanks it? Thanks for watching the video. No explanation? No, no. I need to read Site 13. I, If there's a wiki or something about Site 13, I need to find it. Oh, no. Nah. Yes, it's like confused as hell. I'm so tired. I'm so sore. Nothing on that today. Okay, I hope you guys did enjoy to. Ugh. I hope you guys did enjoy today's reaction video. Like, subscribe, all stuff, guys, and I'll see you in the next one when it happens. Bye.